All right, good evening, my friends. The BRICS nations, that is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, I believe used to be the S. I don't think they're part of it anymore because they are a hellhole, uh, are going to convene and form and create a new currency, a new international currency that they will use for international trade between them, bypassing the need for the United States dollar, which shouldn't really impact anything. However, they are thinking of backing it by gold, which would be very concerning. So let's just take a look at... Do some, this is a really quick thought exercise that someone told me about and I verified, and hence I'm going to share it with you. So we're going to go English to Chinese. BRICS countries. And we will go there, and it's four Chinese characters. Let's copy that, take a look at it. We'll flip the script here and go Chinese to English. Okay, you can see it translates back to English, BRICS, countries. But let's just take a look at that first term. First symbol, gold. I don't read Chinese, by the way. Hence, we're using Google Translate. Gold is the first character. Okay, that's uh, concerning. What else we got here? The second character is brick. Gold brick. So, does China know something we don't know? Maybe they do. Let's take a look at the third one. Well, the third and the fourth are nation. Let's take a look at the third is country. And the fourth one is home. And then, let's, hold on, that seems curious. Let's take a look at the last two again. Nation or country. So, gold or commonwealth. That's curious. Uh, gold, brick, Commonwealth. There could be some truth to this. The Chinese people are kind of broadcasting it in plain sight for us here. Now, what would that do to the U.S. dollar if it is backed by this BRICS currency? Unknown name is backed by gold. Uh, I forget the law, but it the law states that a good currency chases out a bad currency. And the U.S. dollar, I consider a bad currency at the moment because we have a ton of debt that we have absolutely no chance of ever fucking repaying. So, I mean, that's really it. I mean, would it be catastrophic? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I have yet to live in a world where there was a currency backed by gold, so Nixon closed that window in 1971. I was not born then. So it'll be very curious to see, but it would happen quickly, I would wager. So, again, if the United States loses world currency stat or world reserve currency status, life will get difficult, my friends, because we will not be able to borrow indiscriminately like we are able to borrow now because again world reserve currency everyone must use it everyone needs to purchase our treasuries uh if there's a gold backed currency that's no longer the case because you know nations like uganda won't need to deal with u.s dollars they won't need to buy them so that would be very very interesting to see if not catastrophic for the american lifestyle so that's just a prediction. We shall see. It may play out. It's gonna. This is gonna happen in the next. Like I want to say, it's 60 days. They're gonna meet. I think it's called the Durban Accord that they're talking about. But we shall see. I'll keep you in the loop on this one. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like my content and pick up some non-perishable food now more than anything. No more than any time. Uh, I mean, how do you hedge against this? I guess buy gold. Maybe I would never recommend anyone buying gold. I think most people that shill gold are basically just shills. I do happen to own a lot of physical silver, and I used to own a lot of ammo before the boating accident. That's also going to be very useful. So thanks for watching, have a good day, and have a good night, and God bless.